So yes, everybody knows about the new release of this long-lost Castlevania for the Sega Dreamcast. I even did a video live stream of it myself. But I haven't seen any videos of people mentioning what happens when you plug in a second controller. So that's what this video is all about. So let me just take you through a couple of the features. So we're moving the character with the standard controller in uh, port one. If you hold down the whip button, you can see the blue bar powering up there and she'll do a different attack. Now if you have a sub weapon, you can also power that up. Now watch this. See that enemy there? Bye bye. Oops, wrong button. Bye bye, he's dead. And <laughs> we get super slow down. Yes, you can instantly kill enemies by pressing the B button on controller 2. Yes, and that's not the only thing. See at the top where I've got 30 hearts? Pressing the X button on controller 2 puts them up to 99. So you will never run out of hearts. Here we go, watch this. Instant death for these enemies here. Yep, just press the B button on controller 2 and it kills everything on screen. Alright, so that is a very nice feature, but here's an even better feature, watch this. Press start on controller 2 and we get into the free camera mode. So we can move the camera anywhere we want. Now the D-pad moves it left and right, up and down, or up and down are reversed. Pressing the X button will move it back pressing the A button will move it forward. Now holding down the L trigger while in combination with X or A will speed up the movement of the camera. And just look at the face on this castle when we pan back. Oh yeah, that is not accidental. That is definitely a face on the castle. All right, so to stop moving, you just press the uh, opposite direction to cancel it out. Now holding the Y button will move the camera up and moving the camera down is done by the B button. So we can actually pan all around the stage using the second controller. Analog stick does nothing and the R trigger does nothing as well. As you can see, it's very interesting. We can pan right through everything on the stage. We can get ourselves some really nice angles. To take some screenshots, which I'm sure that's what it was for in the magazines. What's on the other side of this door, you may be wondering? Well, not a lot. That's it. To get out of this free camera mode, it's very simple. Just press start button on controller two. Now, one thing that a lot of people are saying is that the stages are not connected together. Well, actually they are. Well, to be fair, the first stage isn't. But uh, watch this, if I go to the courtyard here. Oops, sorry, not the courtyard, that's the one we were just on. If I go to the stairs, and we load up the stairs, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the B button on our controller two to kill all the enemies that are having to fight them. There we go. That's, that, that's him dead. Let me just get a sub weapon. Okay, we've got a shield there. Watch the animation. Oh, actually worked that time. Okay, we need a sub weapon. I did get the holy water, which was pretty cool. Alright, I'm not getting any holy water now. But anyway, as I mentioned before, if you hold down the uh, sub weapon button, you can actually power it up and do a big attack. Yeah, look at that. All right, so what we'll do, we'll go straight up to the top of the stage. You'll notice that there are no enemies on here now because they've all been killed by pressing the B button on controller two. Now oh, there's some enemies, all right, bye bye. Yep, there you go, that's him dead. And we'll uh, kill that bat. And we'll kill these guys here. There we go, <laughs> very easy. Now, because they're all dead, this door is now open and it will load into the very next stage where we hit this door. Watch this. 
So I'm going to keep talking so you know that this is not edited. And watch, see, it just loads up the next stage. So the stages are connected to each other. Now, unfortunately, when you're running this game on a real Dreamcast, the uh, corridor stage doesn't work. So when we go to this stage, exit, the game will just crash. So um, yeah, it will try to load up the corridor stage. As you can see here, see it's, uh, it's trying to load it, but yeah, that's it, it just freezes. So you can't actually do anything now, so let me just reset the Dreamcast. Okay, so we're back and let's go to the chapel. Now, something else that a lot of people don't seem to know about is there is actually a boss on this stage. And we are going to cheat by using the B button on controller 2 to kill everything. So we don't have to fight them. I'll just get rid of that. And if we kill enough enemies, this door will open. There we go. And we will get the boss, which is Medusa. Alright, so we're going to cheat here. I'm going to uh, kill her first form. Pressing the B button, and then she turns into this weird looking head. Look at that! Oh, that is some freaky stuff. And we can actually get the uh, free camera mode going here as well. So uh, we can see if we can get a little bit closer to her. There she is. Oh, that's some freaky stuff there. In fact, you'll notice there's actually no ceiling on the stage. So, uh, you know, we can go all the way up, and then we can look down into the stage. Yeah, there's no ceiling on it. And what is kind of interesting is the rest of the area has been uh, unloaded from memory. Once we get into this uh, Medusa's room, so we're taking the camera back through the door where we came in. We'll see that the stage has gone. Although we still get the flames and the fire there. Okay, let's go back in and uh, let's uh, kill Medusa. <laughs> And the game will basically just reset itself, right? So here we go, let's press the B button. And we can see it, there we go. That's her dead. What will happen now is a jewel will fall down from the sky. And when we pick up that jewel, there it is. Oh, the jewel just flew away, there it is. So when we pick up this jewel, the game will reset. So actually, let's take a closer look. Let's just get her off there. Let's take a closer look at that jewel. Alright, let's see. Okay, let's see if we can uh, zoom into that, speed up the camera a bit. And let's see. Whoops, <laughs> we've gone out a little bit too much. And there you go, that is the thing you pick up. Let's see if we can uh, get inside it. Wow, that's a bit of a trippy effect, isn't it? And yes, you're probably wondering, does Sonya have clothes on underneath <laughs> underneath her outside clothes? I should say, does she have underwear on? Well, I suppose we're going to have to check it out for all the, all the sad people out there. In fact, I don't know because I haven't done this yet. Let's have a look. I would suspect that they're just textures and they're not actually clothes. Yeah, they're just check, just textures, as you can see. So they're not extra clothes on top of the model. Okay, so picking up this, we'll just restart the game. Back to the title screen, and then back into the courtyard. Just one thing I want to show you here is the lovely Stained glass window effect. Look at that. Oops. Gone the wrong way. There we go. That's a nice effect. I know it's just transparent textures, but it still looks pretty nice. And on the other side of the stained glass window is, I think, 